Yeah, I know. Very short stream today. It's because my friends are doing something for New Year's. So I, in an attempt to be a normal human uh, and not just an oversized man child glued to his monitor playing TFT 12 to 16 hours a day, I am trying to go outside more. I think I was rude. Oh my God. I, I should have told her I was streaming because I was like, oh my God, Sunny from high school. And she's like, yeah, holy shit. Nice to see you, Albert. And then she gave me a hug and then I left. I didn't even say anything. Oh God, she doesn't even know I'm streaming. She probably thinks I'm just incredibly rude. I should go say something later. I just like left because the ad break was about to end. I, that's not my fault. That's just bad luck. Unfortunate timing. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything that can be done about it. All right, I got time for one more game. Uh, and then I have to go because some of my friends are doing a thing for New Year's Eve. And one of my resolutions is to be a normal human being because this year, I think I've made the most money I've ever made in my streaming career. And I've also hated myself the most I've ever hated myself in my entire life because I'm, I like gave up my whole life for streaming. I streamed every day and my stream always took priority over any real life human interactions. Whenever there was a decision between doing something for my stream or doing something for like someone in my life, I always chose to do something for my stream. And now I feel like a piece of human shit for it. So this year in 2024, I'm going to care less about my stream and more about my real life. And hopefully my life will somewhat return back to normal. So my friends are doing something for New Year's Eve. I gotta go at nine. I don't think these Annies are playable. I don't think these Annies are playable. Uh, it could actually be a Jax game. I feel like I'm supposed to take this Cassante, but uh, the only way he links is if I hit a set. Uh, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. Oh, I really, wait. Escort quest is really good. If people are weak. Let me, let me think about this. Escort quest is really good if people are weak. I think a good amount of players are weak here. Uh, Lucky Streak is good in general. All right, I'm gonna go for the Escort Quest Gemba. Okay, so you're always leveling here. And then my strongest board is to slam a Titans, but I'd rather do Steadfast and play around Bow. What about the Garen? Uh, I will get him after I win the round. But yeah, Escort Quest is like a literal lottery. Basically, the entire game comes down to, can I face a weak player on the first round? But like, if you scout and most of the players are weak, it's usually a winning gamble. Because winning the first round lets you go five. That's, that's literally it. That's the entire reason. Ah, uh, shit. Um, well, oh, bye-bye, Nar. Okay, I'm a little worried. I'm a little low on damage. Guys, is a Corky One a frontline? Be honest. Is Corky One a viable frontline? I mean, surely, right? I think I win. What's the cutoff for Challenger? Uh, I can check. Let me see. Cut off for Challenger. Uh, oh, I actually just hit Challenger again last game. The cutoff is 576 LP. So I, I just got it back. Yay, after after blowing like 700 LP in two days, we Barak-ish. We're not fully Barak yet. Man, I really need a set. But like, honestly, Cassante is such a good unit that like, even without Heart Seal, this is still a decent play. Okay, it's just made this Olaf a little terrifying. This Olaf's kind of a beast. He's not dying. Does that mean you make the KDA cut off? Uh, the KDA cup is a little bit higher than Challenger. It's rank 160, which is a little bit higher than Challenger. Let me go ahead and find it. So if you want to qualify for the KDA Cup, the cutoff is at rank 160, which is 714 LP right now. So a little bit higher. Would I ever take this Aphelios just to have... No, 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 no. We take red buff here. We take red buff. 
I was like, what if you take the Aphilios just to have Heart Steel? And then you'd have to slap a Quincy's. It's not horrible, but I'd rather have a red buff right now. Wow. Just get rewarded anyway. Well, sort of, because you could argue that if I took the Aphilios, I'd actually have an Aphilios too right now. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not I'm not upset. I think this is reasonable. And then uh, I know Corky already has built an anti-heal, but it's all good. I uh, you're gonna want this red buff like on any carry that you play. Is it ever a Jax angle? No, especially not after someone called Jax. Like, fuck that. I I, ha I have like a very above average angle in my own lane. Okay, I actually kind of like that there's a Jax and a Yone player, because that means I'm very uncontested. Okay, I'm going to manifest a set or an Aphelios in my next shop. Can you smell it? Give it a sniff. What does set smell like? Old Spice, probably. Oh no, it's the wrong Heartsteel unit. Okay, I'm pretty sure Red Buff Ergot's way better than Corky here. Wah! Disco Ari. That's kind of hot. Okay. I win this, right? I'm like not 100% sure. Because Ari is kind of sexy and she could actually melt my Cassante. How, how many kisses can Cassante last? I, I was wrong. This was not even close. Ta. That's actually crazy. Soju gets to farm so many interactions for free from his chat by just looking over randomly and saying two letters. And then every now and then- WOW! Well, see ya. Right, I have five hearts still. Wow. What? What the hell? Oh my god, it's my turn to high roll. Mom said it was my turn to high roll. But yeah, and if, if Soju ever wants to vary up his level of engagement, he can then sometimes make it up and say, Tuh, mix it up, baby. Tuh. Wait, no way I get a blue buff here, right? There's no way. Imagine a spat. Ah! Wait, a sword? Oh my god! There's no way in level 5, in one round, I get Ezreal with red buff true damage. Oh. Oh my god. Alright, just slam that shit right now. What? This game is not normally. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm streak 5 heart steal. Wait, does 5 heart steal even do anything if I'm streaking? Wait, does it? Maybe I should just play 4 Sentinel. Wait. Uh oh. Wait, maybe I threw. How many more stacks of- Oh, I, I get 3 stacks. Okay, it does do something. Okay, it, it does do something. That Kaisa almost inted? You know, honestly, I deserve this for not playing my strongest board. Um, it's not Pandora's, my items are really good. Okay. I was definitely not supposed to play 5 Heart Steel. I should have just played my winning board. Now that I'm already in though, I'm down to lose. I'm down to like not slam these items and lose. Or I face a weak player and I win the round. Yeah, let's lose one more and then let's just start trying to win. Uh, that was kind of dumb for- I, I shouldn't play Esprit Quest and 5 Heart Steel. I was caught up in high rolling too hard. But yeah, let's not slam this item. Actually, it looks like we're gonna lose anyway. Let's do this and try to kill as many as we can. Wait, good loss? Wait, good loss! Wait. Go Perfect loss! Oh, I'm one I'm one off. Or one kill off. Ah, whatever. I feel like I really should not complain in this spot. I'm high rolling too hard. Got an item, got an item. Blue buff! What?
What? Okay. Me and Heart Steel are breaking up. I'll just play three from now on. Wow, this is great. Like, either I win or I lose. Woke. Wait, not my dummy, not my dummy. No! As well, you should have died for the dummy. I want you to know that you should have died for the dummy. Why not play five heart steel till four one? Uh, because I have escort quest. I'd rather just keep my HP and keep win streaking with escort quest. I'm like shocked that my dummy died here. Oh wait, I'm stupid. I took the wrong item. I was supposed to take even shroud. Yeah, I, I took an item to set up for two carries, but I should have taken even shroud. It's way stronger. Okay, I probably four to it. Man, true damage, Ezreal, the red buff, blue buff. That's crazy. The only thing sexier than that would be like a level seven Jin. I, I would probably literally like do a cartwheel. It'd be the freest win in the history of TFT. What are we looking at? Some Aries. I saw two Ari players. This guy's going true damage. That's not good for me. Uh, this guy has an Ezreal. Oh, he has a York. What the? Okay, definitely contested. Definitely contested, but there's a lot of headliners I could get, right? Like Ari. Ari is very solid. Or Ari. Sorry. Akali is very solid here. Ezreal is very solid. I think Caitlyn's playable. Uh, the only thing about Caitlyn is that like, it's going to be through rapid fire, which is pretty awkward. So I'm not sure if I'd take Caitlyn. I also don't have the items for her. Well, like, I guess you do, but who, who takes the red buff and blue buff? Kiana, I guess. Kiana or Akali. Hello, Thunder Dino. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sack one more for, uh, for Heartstone Cash Out, and then I will level up and roll it down. But also, I feel like I could hit. If I roll down right now, I'm, I'm like richer than everyone else. I get first dibs. What, wouldn't it be like super Giga Chad? Don't you guys agree? Wouldn't it be super Chad of me to just like... Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm gonna do it. I, I have the money. I'm just gonna go boom, hit a crazy headliner really quick. Hit a crazy headliner really quick. Uh, I'm definitely supposed to play this for like one round. Play this for one round while I figure it out. Get my cash out and then I uh, okay, so what headliners are, are good for me here? Akali, Ezreal, I think Sentinel Blitzcrank's takeable. Caitlyn. There's a decent amount. I might even just take a poppy. Ah, uh, but that is like not very good for my true damage, but it's strong in general. Okay, come on, Albert. Dink donk. You can do this. There's like four five good headliners out there. Four good headliners. Do it before everyone else. All right, come on. Okay. Red buff. Blue buff. True damage spat. Uh, wait, I'm, I'm a little dizzy already. Hmm. I have a remover, so I could... Uh, Yeah, I have a remover, so I could remove and then, like, fix the Echo's items. I feel like I'm gonna want to save the remover for later, but it, it, it would also have been good to just slap on that Bramble to have, like, a, an impenetrable Echo. Hello, Ghosty Boy. Thanks for the two months. Sona? I don't think I can play Sona. Um, okay, let, let me think about this. You can replace Lily with a better a better Sentinel. It's probably just like IE on Caitlyn. Why not red buff on someone else? Uh, I was thinking about it. If you wanted to red buff someone else, it'd be red buff Caitlyn. And then IE Ezreal. I think my setup is fine. I'm just gonna do this. 
I'll save the tier in case I hit a Jin. Actually, I might just slam Redemption. God damn, dude. This is what happens when the game gives you a true damage spat. Like, the only reason I'm not 100 HP is because I threw two rounds for five hearts steal. Which is kind of funny, but I definitely didn't need to do it. Ooh, Kiana on Carousel with a tier. TF on Carousel with a spat. There's no way I get the spat at this point. Um, Just think about good itemization. Probably Glove. I think I need a Last Whisper. Actually, if I sell this Caitlyn for Akali, I have IE Hodge, which is pretty sick. I don't think I sell yet. Once I get um, a confirmed Akali too. I kind of like this uh, like duo carry system, even though one of them is a little shitty. If the fight looks close, I might slam a Hodge on my Caitlyn, knowing that I'm going to move it later. What about set plus something over Cassante Lilia? I could see it. Set plus Poppy, or set plus uh, Zach. This Riven killed my dummy! Wait, this Riven's actually like, Challenger. What the heck? She just owned me. I was actually a little Wait. close. Wait, yeah, this this Riven just like, fast combo all over us. I need to be a, a little bit stronger to win that. It's crazy I'm still running a Lily at 1, but the rest of the game was still high roll that it didn't even matter. I'm, I should be able to go 9. God, this is what it's like to hit your headliner. Life is great. I wonder if there's a world where I play Jin. It, it'd be 3 big shot, which is a little awkward. I actually feel like Caitlyn 2 is probably better than Jin 1 here. Do you still play League in your free time? Nope. I stopped streaming League of Legends because I stopped enjoying it. I would definitely not be streaming it. Yo, my Ezreal just TP'd in and died. He TP'd in, got polymorphed, and died. Let's do that. A bow? Not bad. Okay, sack one, go nine. Can hit two star Kali, can hit two star Caitlyn. Either one. I definitely like the two star Caitlyn. I, I will definitely keep her. Uh, it's probably just last whisper slam. Need some form of shred here. Okay, so I like Last Whisper here, and then I like Warmogs. Uh, last item, I could do Hodge for Akali. I feel like I should just play for the front line now, which would be um, probably Redemption. Redemption's really good late game. Put on Blitzcrank instead of Garen, because Garen's going to die early. But yeah, Hodge would be good, knowing that you're going to get a Kiana later. But I think uh, I'd rather just play for the right now. Okay, I really should be putting my dummy in the front. I would I would have won this fight if I put my dummy in the front. Goodbye, Akali. She just vanished into thin air. Okay, I got- Somebody remind me. Hey, Boxbox, is your reminder to stop greeting the training dummy? I, I really gotta stop greeting it. I guess this fight didn't matter. They killed it no matter what. Oh, but imagine how cool it'd be to print. It'd be so cool. Fuck. Okay. But yeah, man, my board's pretty crazy now. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to item move this Echo. And then put it all on Thresh. Actually, no, you item move Garen. The reason why it's Garen is because um, Echo and Thresh both have AoE stuns. So now I can just like put one AoE stun on each side. I like that. All right, guys, I'll stop greeting the training dummy after this round. Ooh, this Akali thinks she's on my Ezreal, but in reality, Ezreal's just gonna harm assist the backup. What a shot! Okay, it's just me that do almost no damage. Oh, he's got, oh, he's got Cyber. Why not six tree damage? 
Uh, mostly because I didn't hit Kiana, and then my I had to sell Akali's. Uh, just an item for Caitlyn or an item for Thresh. So, Giant Slayer. Okay. Honestly, maybe I go 10. Like, I basically have everything two-starred. All right, I'm gonna stop creating my target dummy. Okay, Thresh has like the slightly larger stun. Yeah, Thresh has the slightly larger stun. So he should go in front of where the enemy carry is. What about Hurricane Caitlyn to spread Last Whisper? Uh, it actually doesn't spread it. The Hurricane Bolt does not apply Last Whisper, which is strange. You would think it, you would think it does, but they made it like stop applying on-hit effects a long time ago for some reason. Oh yeah, I think it's because like it used to apply a Shojin and it was like deemed too overpowered. Oh, uh, just do this and then that. Uh, I could go 10 and play six true damage. Oh, I, I could do it right now, actually. Wait, there's only two people alive. Wait, there's only two people alive on stage five? Wait, how is this possible? We both have 50 HP. Oh, this is my friend. Hello, S Shade, me boy. Oh, I printed. Ooh, not worth. This Ezreal is better. He said, look at us. Uh, He's gonna go for a TF3. Don't wanna be that guy. Don't be that guy. I meet my my real life friend in a TFT game where the top two, and then I just grief the shit out of him. Oh, wait, these items aren't good. What item can I even play here? Right, maybe like a Nashers on Senna. Oh, he already, he already rolled all his money. He didn't hit. Wow, I, in the time that I, I spent thinking about my item, he rolled all his gold down. That is so funny. I've got a 69% chance of winning this fight. Oh wait, I printed? All right, I could go 10. Everyone knows, everyone knows I win at 10. Or I could roll it down for everything. Focus on what matters. Ooh, a big shot. Uh, let's see what I have. I have five Akalis. Sell Caitlyn. Yeah, I got three TFs. I could have griefed the shit out of him. Oh, is he dead? Wait, hang on. I can still hit. I can still hit. Wait, who let this Yasuo onto the field? Uh, no, 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 we going for Yasuo. No, 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 we going for Yasuo. Wait, why did I say Yasuo? You, you know exactly who I mean. Wait, 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 I'm gonna throw the fight, I'm gonna throw the fight. I need, I need, a, uh, give me another chance. Wait, Ezreal, I, I need you to int, I inted you, man. No, you TP to safety. No. 
Wait, wait, maybe? Maybe? Maybe it's a perfect in. I just like barely lose this. Yes. Alright, give me the Eok. I'm taking this because it's most gold. I don't actually want the Kiana too. Alright, come on, Albert. E. Not that E. 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 No. Dude. Ah. What an unlucky game. Oh, wait, wait, a chance, a chance. Guys, if I end up losing this game, it's okay. All right, we all agree on that. He doesn't exist! Are you holding a triple Ezreal shop? Wait, no, don't win, don't win, don't win. Uh, okay, okay, good loss, good loss. Wait, this is all loss, right? Oh, I've gotten some like really good losses. Some paid actor losses. All right. Okay, here, no matter what, I have to actually try to win now. So if I, if it comes down to it, I will uh, build units. Although I, he might actually get strong enough to beat me now if I don't hit the Ezreal three. I trust you. All right. E. 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 No, 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 fuck that. I could take that and win, but no. I, I'm telling you, oh! Oh, baby. The final test. Caitlyn was testing me. She was like, hey, baby, I'm right here and I'm available. But I said no to Caitlyn so that we could see the abomination that is red buff, blue buff, true damage, Ezreal 3! 1400 true damage! Nice. Ah, that's what happens when the game gives you true damage spat and an Ezreal on five. That was a nice game. I finally got my title of doctor back. Now I just gotta go through Sir, King, President, and then Himothy. Can you, can you believe I went down like four titles, five titles in one day? One day of tilt queuing? Oh, <sighs> it's fine. These games feel very easy. As long as I like hit something, I will top four. Yeah, as long as I hit like anything on my roll down, I will top four. This game was definitely very lucky.